What's going on, everybody? Thanks for coming to our stream. Uh, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. If, can someone post in the chat and tell us if they can hear us? Very important question. Yes. We will just wait. Or act as though they can hear us. I don't see any audio. Oh, a, yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me? Okay, sweet. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks again for coming to our stream. We're really excited to show this to you guys. Um, we're going to wait just a couple minutes just for some more viewers to come in, and then uh, then we promise we'll get to the video. There's uh, After the video, we have a BTS video that we're going to play as well, um, so be sure to stick around for that. And uh, yeah, you guys got anything to add? I uh, just uh, really appreciate y'all being here. Um, this, uh, like, uh, the whole team put everything they could into this, and uh, I think we're all really happy with how it turned out. Um, it is uh, short but sweet, and um, yeah, some of the best work I've seen from everybody involved. So, um, really excited to put uh, put this one on the wall. Well said. Well said. Um, there's probably a few of you guys in the chat that hasn't been introduced to, to us. Probably not many. I know, like Dylan, you're in there, and, and Liam. But for anybody that's in the chat that doesn't know everybody on the screen right now. Um, to my right is Nate. Um, there's two Nates, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nate one and Nate two. <laughs> Nate one uh, did composition and um, a bit of sound design and whatnot for this one. So he's the one that dealt with all the music. Um, my name is Quinn. I did the sound design uh, primarily and then on location sound recording. This is Brandon. He dealt with cinematography and directing. This is Drake. He did lighting and grip work as well as had some input on the cinematography and other things. And this is Nate. Uh, wub on the he, wub. Uh, he is uh, just chilling. He's here. <laughs> he's here for moral support. And then uh, over there, you can't see anybody. Uh, there's Brett. He's our hype man. And then uh, Huana, and she was behind uh, script and uh, other various useful tasks. And uh, yeah, so that's everybody here. Again, thanks everybody for joining, and uh, we're looking forward to hearing your, your feedback and whatnot, so hope you enjoy. And uh, I just want to say that uh, everyone that was involved in this project, uh, we couldn't have done it without you, so thank you. We really appreciate it. Like, honestly, on set especially, it could not have gone as smooth as it did without everyone's help. So we're super grateful, and uh, now we finally get to show everyone what we created, and uh, we're looking forward to it. I think, uh, that, that's pretty much all the pre-roll we had planned, so. Mm -hmm. Did anyone introduce Nolan? Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. our most important member of the team. Nolan, come here. Yeah, the come here. Has been talking Nolan, about him. get over here. <laughs> you can see how there he's right there. That's Nolan. He, he pretty much wrote the whole thing. He's kind of a big part of the production. Um, he's yeah. a big deal. He's a big deal. He's a big deal. So, kudos to Nolan. And, uh, turn up the volume. yeah, let's turn up the volume. How how's that sound? Does that sound better? Can you guys can you guys hear us all right? That should be a bit better. Check one, check two, check check check. <laughs> Nolan is the best. You know this more than anyone, Pat. Uh, Pat's had some times with him. It's better? It's good? The audio's good? Okay, sweet. Um, I say we... Should we get the show on the road? What yeah, do you guys think? Are you ready? Yeah, we can I hang think, out afterwards. Yeah, we'll, we'll hang out for a bit after, do the BTS, and then we'll we'll talk to you guys for a bit longer. Anybody wants to chill, we'll be right here. But for now, <laughs> let's... Uh, let's go. Have you, do you want to do a countdown from five? Yes. Yeah, as long as you play it on three. I, I'll try. Yeah. I'll my best. Okay, five, four, three... Two, one.
come on. Come on. Come on. I can't. Put me down. Put me down. We stop here. We're dead. David, we have to stop the bleeding. If we don't, we are not going to make it ten feet. Quick, hand me your, hand me your med kit. Hang in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's done. Did anyone see where Dwight went? Can you walk? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, I thought I saw a gate just south here. The gate isn't going to do us any good if we don't have no power. For all we know, Dwight's working on it right now. For all we know, Dwight's rotting on a hook. Don't talk like that! You honestly think he has a chance out there with that... that thing? We should get out of here while we still can. No, we're not leaving without Dwight. We go back for him, then we all die. Better the three of us make it out of here than none of us. Guys! What? Dwight's alive? That sounded like Dwight. Poor bastard's been hooked. Can't let him die, mate. We gotta get his attention somehow. This thing's a hunter, which means we need bait. And who's going after Dwight? Makes the fastest. Should be her. Who's, who's gonna be the bait?
Welcome to our set, Dead by Daylight. This is our first shot. Uh, right now, we're just gonna get the Huntress, our killer, to walk behind some trees and off to the other side. It's just supposed to be kind of a spooky opening scene. And uh, yeah, if I die, at least Mateo's filming. <laughs> that, that is true. Okay, I think that's good. Action. Keep 
throws it down, but we don't have to start there just so that the pallets are already down. And then we see her in the background, and then I think the next shot was like getting a close up of her throwing. Okay, so after this. Okay, so Take action. Beautiful. Cut. That was so good. That was awesome. Okay. Okay. What was the biggest uh, inspiration from Dead by Daylight that you implemented into the short? Oh, easy, the hook. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. That that we definitely had the most fun of that for sure. Yeah. That it yeah. looked awesome. Oh, no, like, it was so sweet. It was sick. So happy with how that turned out. Honestly, it was so awesome. So uh, this is scene 10 in our uh, short film. The idea of this shot is basically I'm gonna be, it's gonna be like one big single shot. I'm gonna be running backwards, trying not to fall. And uh, Natasha, who's playing Meg, she's gonna run in and she's hiding behind this tree from the killer. And uh, the killer's kind of searching around for her. And then we do a couple pans, and then she jumps under the bridge and hides under there. It's one shot, right? Yeah, it's one single shot. That's so, sick. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna look good, hopefully. You know, and okay. just like close and breathe. Okay. And then kind of make your next moves slowly like that. Okay. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. So they're going to run through their line and then we'll give you a cue. And then you're going to slowly rise up. And then they're going to slowly turn to look at you. Oh, okay. And then maybe like raise your axe or something because you're about to fuck them up. <laughs> Real bad. What's that kind of move? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't sign anything about Loved it. Good. Moving on. Uh, it's way back. How do you think the shoot's gone so far? 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10? What about Incredible. yesterday's late start? It was it was 11 or 10. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll keep with that number then. I'll check in at the end of this shoot. Yeah. Oh, it would have been it would have been dreamy to get them all at the same light level, but when does that happen? Yeah. Uh, Are you good? <laughs> What's the biggest hurdle you think technically for uh, this short so far? I mean, there's there's a whole number of things, but I think the number one thing is actually going to be uh, day for night uh, in post production because one thing we weren't counting on was the the snowfall, and you know it's it's really bright inherently it's just flat white so trying to edit that and uh, color grade it so that it looks like nighttime when you've got all these reflections all over the place that's gonna be a big challenge I think cool um, yeah and I mean there's a few other things too like making like the set look good and that's why this location is so great because there's so many cool places to film in Alberta so mark action 
Ah! It sounded like Dwight. Poor bastard's getting hooked. Can't let him die, mate. We gotta get its attention somehow. This, this thing is a hunter. Which means we need bait. And who's gonna go, go after Dwight? Makes the fastest. Should be her. This is gonna be the bait! Cut. <laughs> That's a wrap. Hey. That's a wrap. Yeah. 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 That burns so bad. Oh, That's a wow. burn. Well, um, we hope you all enjoyed that. Also, uh, since for some reason we can't chat with you guys uh, on the, the typing mode, that sounded old. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, it's okay, Sonia, uh, for almost murdering me. Obviously, I'm okay and alive, and I honestly didn't even notice until after. So it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was that. <laughs> yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you got any questions, um, that's kind of what we want to do here is just open up the chat for questions. So, you know, how we ended up making the hook, where we got the materials, you know, what camera we're using, any any questions you guys have, you know, throw that into the chat and we'll uh, we'll answer it as best as we can. Um, I just want to do a shout out to uh, Daphne Miller, um, my wife's sister, for creating the Huntress mask. I think we can all agree it looks pretty awesome. It was um, so yeah, special shout out for that. Looks great. Um, yeah. Shouts all the way out to Mateo for that amazing BTS. Uh, that shit was good. I hadn't actually seen that yet. Um, almost as good as the piece itself. Not gonna lie, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty better. banging. It was, it was arguably better than the actual. There's an argument to be made. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Is thing. Mateo in this chat? If you're here, say, speak yourself, speak your name. I, I don't know if he's here. If, if you're, you're here, Mateo, plus press enter twice. Yeah, just do anything. <laughs> Second up by daylight is a real quick. Well, okay. You know, we kind of ended it in a way where we could have a sequel, because we don't really know what happens That's to Meg. True. So it's definitely open to possibilities. Um, we haven't actually made any decisions yet. I think Paradigm Visuals. Oh, is that, are you, Mateo's Mateo, Paradigm are you Paradigm Visuals? Visuals? Say Hi. yes. It's me, it's Mateo! Nice. Everybody subscribe and follow Paradigm Visuals. Yeah, he's fucking awesome. He literally, him and his girlfriend, Megan, honestly helped out like crazy on set. I, I, I'm going to assume, uh, but either way, you guys did absolutely incredible. Couldn't have done it without you. And uh, also shout out to this guy right here, mm. this beautiful fucking man for his beautiful uh, composing work. That's a, This is the first time we've actually branched out to a music composer. And I think we can all agree that he did incredible. Um, yeah, I, I have no other words, really. Shout out to one screenwriter. Who I can't. The there's the more letters. We can only see some of them. Shaved off a few pounds since then, dude. Nice, nice. You were already in fucking fantastic shape. Don't lie, right? You're already Vin Diesel. So don't even don't even talk like that. You already look great. Who asked what? Mr. Mac asked, "Are you gonna make another with other killers? You should." We definitely. I think we could. I think we definitely could. And Meg, who knows what happened to her, right? Yeah. I think it, it kind of depends on how well this one's received. Speaking of which, the actual official version is going to get released tomorrow. Um, what do you think? Around like 11 a.m. or something like 11 that? 11 or 12-ish. Yeah, so depending on how well that's received, and we'd love to make more. There's so many killers in the game and, and yep. survivors, all of which have their own unique backstories. So, I mean, there's just so much you could do with this, right? Oh, absolutely. It's, a, it's an open world. No. Not literally. No, well, not <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Sweet. Any, any other questions you guys want to ask while we're, we're still here and live? No, Gary, you, bro, come on. You're a fucking fitness model. Don't, <laughs> don't talk like that.
You're the most Jack guy besides Nick on set. And Drake. Drake, Drake too. Sorry, Drake. I, I forgot Drake. <laughs> I wish I could see all the, the letters. Yeah, some of the chats like slice off a little bit. It's not yeah, so we're trying to... All right, Quinn's going to move it. Beautiful. Now we can see it. You do, oh you okay so I guess word is that the huntress killed her, uh, but it's, we are the writers actually I, I, so I think we can. This is kind of how yeah. I feel about it. It's it's sort of one of those Inception moments. Every you know you remember the end of Inception Fantastic where like movie. spins the top. Incredible. Kind of like that. So I mean who who knows really it's up for interpretation you know. Yeah no it's yeah, exactly you like decide. exactly yeah. you decide what happens to Meg. Yeah. Do you want the killer to win or do you want the uh, the survivor to win? It's up to right. You. It's kind of like uh, speaking true to the game as well, because I mean you can play as the killer and the survivors. So I mean, mm -hmm. you know. True. Ooh, we also didn't mention, but the actress performances I think we can all agree were outstanding. Okay. You oh, guys yeah, did killed. incredible, and I'd love to work with you all again. And I don't know if Natasha's in this chat, but you're you played an amazing Meg, and there's possibilities for sequels right now. So. You never know. We'll see. We'll see where. We'll see where this goes. Uh, I, I'd like to shout out, uh, yeah, Natasha again because, you know, when, when we went out to location, we we're searching for different areas to to film it and and you know trying to incorporate okay which scene can go where and and you know which spot would look the coolest, and we found that bridge just kind of halfway down yeah. a trail, and we yes. right away we were like. This is perfect. We could do a one shot, and we had all these great ideas. Oh, that's who Mopar, Mopar Blondie is. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's her. All right, that's okay. her. Yeah. So special shout out to you. Okay, um, she wants a sequel. She says. So. Okay, I think that kind of answers that, that, that question. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't have a choice. We don't have a yeah, choice. Yeah, but shout out to you because you know when when we come up with all these ideas and cool things we want to do. I mean, that whole scene relied on on your willingness to dive underneath the bridge and like get all muddy and everything. And I mean, we we laid a blanket down sort of, sort of. Covered, covered in dirt and leaves. but at so. the same t it's like that's only going to help so much so you're an absolute trooper for just like you know going going 110 percent and helping us out and you know you really help make this what it is ultimate commitment to your craft also patrick thank you clay i love you clay is my cousin for anyone that doesn't know uh, he's a fucking great guy patrick a good friend of mine also my sister's boyfriend fantastic people love you both thanks for checking it out Chelsea also said something. Yeah, answer to, to Chelsea. Uh, we had every special license that would be required, and we'll be answering no further questions on that. Yeah, every, everything done here was completely legal, and we followed all laws and communicated with uh, the authorities, uh, the authoritative figures before filming. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Chase. Chase, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, also, the, we do have a project with the dog. Actually, we do. Oh yeah, we yeah. do have a few videos with him in it. The funny thing. Sorry. Um, I was, uh, I don't know if you already did this, but even if you did, I think this, this man deserves two shout outs. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Travis or Travis? Trevor? Travis. 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 The travel guy. Oh, Terrace. Terrace. Sorry. Terrace. I'm trying to give a shout out and I can't even remember your name, Terrace. even though I think we had this conversation on set where I couldn't remember your name. Either way, you're a trooper as well. Yeah, like, I mad shout out to you. That was amazing. Like, yes. you you just coming in clutch, being able to transport everybody back and forth, making trips to the bathroom when people needed Save it. Amazing. Yeah, so massive shout out to you as well. A couple, couple shout outs I gotta, I gotta mention. Um, one, my girlfriend, Huana, for being a script supervisor. We had Can no you show idea. yourself? Can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on, just for a second. Just for a second. There's like four people here. Come on. Yes. Uh, this, <laughs> she's gone. All right. the, so this is our first time having a script supervisor and she kept us in line she knew the script inside out couldn't have done it without her and another shout out that i think we all need to mention that we haven't mentioned yet yeah this man yes this man's <laughs> name is clive and we had no idea who this guy was before filming this video this guy shows up and is already better than all of us at what we're doing. And he just did an incredible job. The motivation, the dedication, the commitment. Like, I just, I can't thank you enough, Clive. This production would not have happened without you. 
He he. I'd never met him before in my life, and he rolled up with a hatchback filled with every tool you can imagine. And like, no matter what it was that needed to get done, he looked at it like it was his ninja training. Like it was exactly what he was there to do, and he wasn't going to let anybody else do more work than him. It was ridiculous. Um, and it became a running joke on set that absolutely every production everywhere needs a clive it does if i don't know where we found a clive we got lucky. um we got lucky but uh yeah that guy deserves uh a bouquet of flowers I like think, <laughs> I think he's getting a bouquet of flowers along with everyone else involved is he in this is, is i don't think this? he's in uh this if he's here right now. if if for some reason you are in the chat clive you are amazing, and I think we need to buy him a subscription to some flower shop yes, that just sends him roses daily. Specifically flowers, even yeah. if he doesn't like them. It's yeah. just everyone likes flowers. Who doesn't like flowers? Everybody likes flowers. Some people don't like flowers. I, I have a story about Clive, and this is really going to help drive home how incredible this man is. Um, Drake was saying he has like every gear, every piece of gear that we could possibly want. So I go into uh, the tent that we had because we rented two 10 by 10 tents for like catering and whatnot. And so I go in there to get a coffee. And I'm, I'm sitting there and, and Clive comes in and he's like, all right, so what, what's, the, what's the next scene? What are we doing next? And so I let him know, okay, we're going to go film. This was actually prior to the one shot. Uh, we, were, we were prepping the one shot scene. And so he comes in and he's like, hey, what are we doing next? And so I tell him, okay, we're going to go and do the one shot. Um, and he's, we're talking about audio. And I tell him like, yeah, I'll probably just be hand booming it and whatever. And he says, oh, I actually have some kind of a, it's like a jib with like a platform on the bottom and it's got a boom going over. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you could just use that if you want. And I'm sitting here thinking that I need to hand boom the entire one shot, take after take after take. Um, and then he's got that. And I was like, well, I mean, you don't have to go get it. Like, don't worry about it. It's, I'm, I'm fine just hand booming the whole thing. It's okay. Don't worry about it. And so I get my coffee. Clive's in the chat! Oh, hey, Clive! Hey, Amazing! No flowers. He doesn't like flowers. No flowers. Okay. No flowers. okay. Like flowers. We just forget we said anything said about flowers. Like flowers. Yeah. Man um, pulls out an entire rolling crane from his back pocket. Yeah. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> I, so I, I finish getting my coffee and I head over to a location where we're going to film the next sh shot. And Clive has already set up this crane with a boom over. Like, it, he's prepped the whole thing. Like, and you guys probably don't know what the hike down looks like but this is five it i think it was four it was the worst thing i've ever it, it was with. four sets of stairs more than that. so he had to he had to pile this thing like over his shoulder or something go all the way down follow the path to the catering tent cut over um down the path which was probably like 50 to 100 meters something like that set the thing up all within the time that i took to put a cream and sugar into my coffee <laughs> and so i go there and i like i, I set up my stuff and it, it's just it made the scene 10 times better so massive shout out to you clive love you lots yeah. hope you're down to have uh you know more fun with us in the future and come on board for more productions 100 100 and uh, I mean, I, I'll tell a, a brief story of Clive. I show up on set late both both days in a row. Probably the worst thing you could possibly do when filming a video. This guy's already raking out the snow from the tent before I even get there. I'm like, I, how did like how do you even know to do that? Like it's just it was just great. And then obviously the actors Sonya, Liam, Natasha, Gary, and Nick. Like God, I know I said it already, but you guys did so good and you dedicated your time. Most of you drove from out of town, which I don't know why you did that. That's that's an immediate no for most people. So thank you for that. To and stand around in the freezing cold, freezing and the cold, snow. and a snowstorm, first one of the year. And uh, I think Oscar performance goes to Liam for that one liner run. Oh, yeah. I think that was immediately like His, it just captures your soul. It's so good. The only line he had in the entire thing, <laughs> and he nailed it. He nailed it. And I think it was a good test for Liam because he wasn't speaking dialogue. He was acting. Like, there was a whole scene where he was just kind of walking around and, like, you can see the emotion on his face. And I think that says a lot about an actor. So kudos to him uh, along with the rest of the cast. Um, yeah, uh, 33 visuals. I think maybe you missed it, but it will be coming up. Uh, it'll be posted uh, tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing more work from you, actually. Natasha's got another one coming out, so that'll be great. Later I'm, I'm excited to see that, actually. That looks pretty fucking awesome, so be checking that out. And to answer oh, your and question... Nick, sorry, not just Natasha, but that's Natasha. Yeah, and we Nick. can't wait for your next Oh, my God, you guys like, are both in that. Like, isn't <laughs> yeah. Kevin and... Uh, yeah, Kevin and Gary are behind... Yeah. Or Kevin's in it, and I think Gary's behind the camera. Okay, right, so right. you guys, like, I saw the clips, and... Very That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. It looks great. To answer your question, Chase, uh, I can't answer that because we don't know. 
it's open to interpretation at the moment. Uh, I saw a message earlier from Camilla. Uh, that means a lot. Um, it was awesome to hear you say that. We're excited to see where things go as well. And uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that this one does well because honestly, what something that we've been hoping to try to figure out is how to be more consistent with content, right? Because we come out with a, a video every six months or so, right? And so what we've decided is we want to come up with sort of a series. And I think that if this does well, if if this one actually, I don't know what a view count would, would be, but if people are excited enough about this, we could absolutely just do more Dead by Daylight stuff. And I think, you know, if we did one of those every four months even, like it's a total option. So that's that's something that we're hopefully going to consider in the future. Just depends on how well this one does. Mm -hmm. Nathan, you got anything to say to the crowd? And by crowd, I mean chat. <laughs> it's crowded. Uh, just, strong. yeah. 15 viewers. 15 legends. Uh, it was, it was just fun to work on the soundtrack for this. I mean, I'm already into this kind of stuff anyway. So, and I played the game a yeah. bunch, so it made it a lot easier to, if, since I played it. But yeah, no, I had fun. So thanks for having me out. Shout out Terrace always. Shout out yeah, Terrace. Terrace, Terrace. Always got to shout Terrace out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll definitely work on the next one too if you guys yeah, are yeah. doing one. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, man. I think you did an amazing job. And I think the, the thing with horror as well, we were talking about this because we finished the final mix last night. Yeah, we didn't have it <laughs> rendered. That's I not did not have it rendered till 11.30 p.m. last night. And I had work today. So that was how clutch this whole thing was. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't. The final mix was done last night. And I think that the one thing that made this because it's a horror, right? The soundtrack is massive. It's like the number one. If you watch any horror film, the sound is like everything. Um, and so Nathan's soundtrack just made this come to life. And uh, it took it from a I'm not going to say crappy production because it was uh, it was awesome. But like just that extra extra 110 percent on top was yeah really really made a difference yeah. yeah it wasn't uh it wasn't like it didn't sound like a film until quinn's sound and nathan's music was in once that was in it was like okay we got something here before that it was like yeah you know there's some pretty shots but like it just it it, it looks weird until you add in those things and once you add in those things you're like holy shit this is like an actual film so uh oh and and kudos to this fucking guy right here because He's a goddamn wizard when it comes to sound. This guy, like, watching him work is like, what are you even... Like, it's like a computer. He's not even a human being. He's like a robot that's just like... Duh, 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 duh. And, like, everything he does is great. And that incorporated with Nathan's music, absolutely incredible. Me and Drake, actually, we had a pretty fun time working on the color for this and, and editing. Uh, we had some we had some setbacks. There was, there was some sessions where we spent four or five hours and absolutely not a second of the film got done. So that was fun. So kudos to this guy also for sticking it through till the end. Uh, thanks, uh, Mateo. Thanks for, uh, thanks for that. Uh, I'm just trying to, I'm pretty far away from the TV oh, right now, but, yeah, uh, the heartbeat sound effect. Yeah. So that's something that we hummed and hawed about for a while because it's such a core part of the game, but bringing it over to like, you know, incorporate it into the film was, you know, we wanted to make it work, but, but mixing it in with the soundtrack and, and everything. And, you know, because in the game, as the killer gets closer to you, the heartbeat gets faster and louder. Um, so that one scene I agree. I think it, it it's 10 times better with the heartbeat just because it, it brings out that intensity and it also is very reminiscent of the game. So we're all really happy with how that turned out. Um. Oh, and uh, Natasha, sorry we didn't use your heavy breathing. Uh, we were going to, it just we threw it in. It didn't quite work with the, the video, but thank you for recording that anyways. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan, you got anything to add? All right, that's a uh, word from Nolan. Um, any, any, anything else? I, I, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I don't know. We're just, we're just kind of hanging we're just out. Kinda we're gonna be on. chilling and, and just drinking some beers and whatnot. Yeah, um, we're gonna be getting pretty drunk, probably. <laughs> in celebration. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd say we're probably gonna have some some beers. You're, some gold knife. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, some gold knife for sure. Is happening. Yeah. Tell you that. Yeah, I don't. I feel like I don't need to say it, but I'm gonna say it anyway, just because we're live streaming on YouTube. Um, if you're not subscribed already, it would mean the world for for us uh, or just to us if you would yes. just do it. Just straight up do it. You'll you'll thank just us later, maybe. Just do it. 
Probably not, but you should anyway. Yeah, I mean, you'll you'll get a video once every yeah. eight months. So <laughs> a good video <laughs> once every eight months. <laughs> like and subscribe. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that should be our motto. Uh, click the uh, copy link. That's a trick I picked up from TikTok. It works. Just saying. He's not wrong. Yeah, and again, uh, tomorrow the the full video is going to come out. So it'd mean the world to us if you guys want to share it different places and and show your family and your grandparents and their kids and their relatives and their cousins and I don't know everybody that you know that'd be amazing um <laughs> we also got a we got a Chelsea wants to know what shot we're most proud of and uh I I can't speak for these guys but I think I actually have two I think the first one would have to be um Liam's hook shot when you see him on the hook for the first time I don't know like it was just the lighting was absolutely perfect the colors was amazing it just looked so good. Like it was like, did we actually film this? Like it was, it was the first time I like looked at a shot that we did, and we're, and it was like, whoa, like that's actually really impressive. And then the one shot, obviously, because for some reason it worked out. I was not expecting it to work out, but it looked great, and it was suspenseful. I loved the acting. I loved the whole bridge scene, which wasn't even in the script. We just stumbled across it. And going back to that. Uh, thank you again, Natasha, for going on her. I know we thanked you for that already, but we, you didn't really have a choice. And the best part about it was, is that you were just like, yeah, okay, yeah, no problem. I'll just go under that. So thanks. I appreciate that. You did amazing. Yeah. For a favorite scene, it's definitely, um, the one shot was fine, but, um, the, the one, the whole hook scene was yeah, just scene like, was... obviously we hated the snow. We didn't want to have to deal with the snow, but that the lighting, was perfect and just like the tiny flakes of snow even if it didn't actually work like chronologically with all of the rest of the shots like it was great. i in isolation i love those shots yeah like, those yeah. are so good just we should just upload yeah. that we should just yeah. upload a video of just the hook shot and then <laughs> call it good there honestly yeah actually the the ending scene was pretty good too with the Between. with the smokiness and the, the just like the, the cutting between the chases and good. whatever, yeah. Like, the I whole thing's like my favorite. The whole thing is great. The yeah. whole thing is great. Natasha would jump under a bridge again in a heartbeat. We'll we, we will hold you to that. Yeah, you're going to in the sequel, so <laughs> it might be more than a bridge. It might be a bridge on a ri or in a river or something. Who knows? <laughs> That's the that's the widestream media guarantee is you have literally no idea what filming us is with us is gonna be like. <laughs> it might be an absolute shit show, or it could be um, mediocre, or it could be really great. I don't know. Super fun. Yeah, it yeah. could be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. time consuming at all though. No. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, we we also all have our own full time uh, jobs and everything going on. So making this. It, it was a lot of fun and, you know, finding time here and there was kind of difficult, though, because of our, you know, pre-obligations and whatnot. So we really appreciate you guys sticking with us and uh, we try to get it out as fast as fast as we could. But I mean, you know, things just end up getting in the way. And but we're there. We're there and we made it happen. And uh, you guys were a massive part of that. And we're really excited to see what the future holds. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully it won't take us another eight months no, to come out with something it'll be like a month or two. <laughs> Oh, I got uh, one thing to say, if you don't mind. Um, uh, did did you guys think that it looked like night? Because that was the first time we tried day for night, and we uh, did we get you? Did you did you did you get fooled? Um, and it was it was pretty pretty tough because it was night and day uh, when we were filming, so it was really tough to make it look consistent. Oh, yeah. Nick. Nick yeah, that's what I, that's what I was. Yeah. Um. If so, Nick, I'm assuming that means you think it looked night time the whole time which is great that's that's what we were going for so if that's the case if you guys can all tell us what you thought be honest don't worry about it. you're not going to hurt our feelings this is a learning curve for us so we're just excited to hear any feedback we can get okay yes awesome oh 100 percent. that definitely sold thank you 1000 percent. holy shit 1000 percent. it was crazy night <laughs> okay thank you that I, I i don't know what that means it crazy it was crazy night but i'm gonna say it's is that, is that gary that's gary that's, yeah, gary? that's gary hi gary gary we love you yeah. by the way also a massive trooper oh my god yeah yeah uh we haven't shout out you yet and you deserve 10 shout outs maybe yeah. maybe nine 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 shout outs nine not shout -outs. not, nine not quite whoa, ten. Whoa, whoa. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Oh, Dylan, you uh, 
Yeah, we're, I, we, we got them. you. We, we fooled them. We fooled them all. We fooled them all. Yeah, we got um, so Gary, massive, massive thanks to you. Um, sort of related to Natasha crawling under a bridge, but um, Gary had to crawl through snow in his wardrobe with his bare hands, and yeah. with his bare hands, exposed skin and everything. And uh, we did what was it, like four takes, I think, which yeah. isn't that many, but it's enough that if you're lying on the ground, you know, in in a oh. snowbank. <laughs> hiding under under bushes i mean that that wouldn't be a that comfortable was, situation so at all. i was just glad i was behind the camera and witnessing it and not <laughs> actually doing it myself yeah and it, it ended up looking really good too so and yeah the, and the performance for that particular shot was like you really sold it gary like it was just oh i just i loved it that one was solid um uh, yeah. being behind the camera isn't necessarily always safe though Brandon oh, yeah. almost died. I did almost die, <laughs> uh, but I mean, it, it really fits the the character that that Sonya was trying to play. She is a murderer, so it, it's only fitting that I, the director, would get murdered in the making of the film. Yeah, yeah almost got axed. Did almost get axed. Didn't even notice. Was like, all right, great, moving on. <laughs> that was the best part about it. Well, what do you think? Um, we're just we're just kind of flapping. No, I'm talking. I don't know. Okay. We're just, we're just, we're just, so, yeah. yeah. I mean. I don't think we I left think anybody yeah. out. I think we no. thanked everybody we thanked multiple everybody. times. <laughs> Honestly, it was too dark sometimes. Gary looked more clear in the behind the scenes. It was it's his expressions were powerful. Oh, we completely agree. Yeah. yeah. No, 100%. Was, uh, yeah. Uh, jumped into that snow with quickness. Yes, yes, he did. Mm-hmm. I'm only going to get better. Might just be YouTube, though. I believe yeah. that. Yeah. I, I, the... I, one once watch watch the release version because yeah, it's going it to be, be a it's going to be 4k it's not going to be compressed through the youtube streaming yes. slash obs streaming which is what we're <laughs> using to do the stream it's going to be better if you watch the full version yeah um <clears throat> that said that was a challenge that was a challenge making everybody have equal visual weight um with different skin tones when shooting at night and then trying to color grade it well when shooting in the daytime and then trying to color grade it to make yeah, it look like night it, it was a challenge more so than we were expecting, uh, but I think um, in the final version we watched and the version that will be the the release, I think it's yeah. uh, a lot clearer because yeah, his expressions definitely brought a lot of uh, value to every scene he was in. So mm-hmm. um, I do think that is maintained in the uh, non compressed non live stream version. Yeah, definitely, definitely check out the YouTube version when it's up tomorrow because this it was just the quality was probably a little less good than what you'll actually see. Yeah. Also, sorry about the uh, the audio uh, delay slash. You know. We're learning. Yeah, we we whipped this up in like an hour, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm we're pretty happy with how it yeah, turned out. I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think if, if there's anybody that we forgot to thank that's in the chat, sorry. Uh, just type your name in there, and we'll we'll give you an arbitrary shout out because. Yes. <laughs> everyone gets a shout out. Everybody gets a shout out. I, I guess our sponsors, thank you to our sponsors yeah. for helping fund the project, yeah. which was incredible. Like the fact that they even gave us any money is, is already unrealistic to me. So yeah, you. huge, huge shout out to those who all, um, I don't know if you'd call it pledged, but, uh, submitted money to our, our GoFundMe that made a massive difference. It and did. even, even something as little as, you know, buying coffee for the whole, whole cast or, you know, the, the, the money that went towards the tents or any, all, all those little things make a massive difference and, and yeah, massive shout out to you guys. Um, 100%. yeah, but I think that's everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, if you have any more questions tomorrow, post on the video and we can answer them on YouTube. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing where, what the future holds. Um, yeah. Thanks everybody. Thank you guys, honestly. And yeah, please definitely check out the YouTube version uh because that we're gonna want to share that around like we want to get that out there so just like (laughs) just do what you can to to make it known to people you know share Share, like subscribe those are the three hit hit that bell notification notification. (laughs) and uh who knows we might enter it in some festivals and hopefully get some awards we'll see i it's hard to say how that will go but uh it's definitely we'll probably put it on some festivals as well so Drake, got any last words? We appreciate all of you showing up. This has been fun. I will see you on the next one. Can't wait. Good night. We love you guys.